This is the Fresh Off the Hook family, F-O-T-H-F, a family of crocheters displaying the talent that has been given to us from above. Fresh Off the Hook. Hello, you guys. It's Nini or Denisia, whichever one you want to call me. And uh, welcome to my Fresh Off the Hook. It's been about three weeks since I did one. And um, I went through two terrible things last week. Uh, I'll tell you about it. I went um, to Syracuse, New York on May 10th for my brother's wedding. On the way up to Syracuse, New York, I sprained my ankle. I was probably about an hour away and it's about a five hour drive from Baltimore to Syracuse, New York. So about an hour away, I sprained my ankle, um, jumping over a puddle, me and my son, and my son landed on my ankle. So the next morning I ended up in the hospital because I couldn't sleep that night. And uh, they did x-rays and everything. They just said that it was bruised. So um, that kind of spoiled my weekend. And then the next morning, I woke up to blood. So everyone knows that I was pregnant. I miscarried. So I lost my baby the next morning. The same day of my brother's wedding. So I had to, I had literally lost the baby maybe about two hours before the wedding so it was very very tough i'm still dealing with the miscarriage now my body is still dealing with it and um but i'm doing okay i'm okay so please don't worry so i'll be fine and um i just wanted to let y'all know that i did have a miscarriage a carriage so um so that's what happened to me last week. So, okay, on to the crochet. Um, I, I'm not going to say I didn't do much, but I did do some crocheting. I, the first thing I was working on is out of this book, uh, the Get Your Crochet On, the Fly Tops and Funky Flavors. I was working on this here shirt. It's a shoulder lean. It's the shoulder lean. That's it right there. And I got stuck. Like I couldn't, I got stuck for some reason. I couldn't figure out um, the rest of the pattern. So I stopped. I went out and I bought, um, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby and this is the uh, sport weight yarn so I went out and I bought this in this pink and brown color pink brown and beige right so this is as far as I got <laughs> and this is like the bottom the stomach area part I got stuck on the top part because I couldn't quite understand because it went to if anyone if there is anyone who, who did this pattern please help me out but i did i got stuck on this part where it says see how it says i don't know if you can see it but it says a meat a back medium back medium uh, front large here and um i just got stuck all around in this area the top part this top part here in the back so, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back to it and try to figure it out. But I really like this top. I like how it comes off the shoulder and everything. It's so cute. And um, I might have to make it a little longer. But this is all I got done so far. So, I'm going to have to go back to it. But... I was working on that and um, I was working on my aunt's blanket and this is what I got done so far on her blanket and it's the granny square blanket the yellow one that I was working on 
I don't know how I'm going to hold it up, but <laughs> this is, I'll put it on the floor so you guys can see. Okay. How about that? This is what I have done so far. I was going to make it a queen size. And, um, let's see. I still have to do a lot more. Put the light down on it so you can see it. So, and I didn't rearrange the squares to, uh, well, they actually kind of all look the same looking down at it right here because I alternated the colors. And um, let me see if I could put more lighting on it. I alternated the colors, the yellows um, there. And it kind of, they all kind of look the same to me up here, but... I still have a lot more to go. So I've been working on that. And I only did, I only uh, connected the squares going the long way. I didn't do it the short way yet because I want to just continue to do all the long way and then go back and do the short way. So that's the blanket. And here's the squares up close. Yeah, so I can't wait to get the, the, the blanket done. It just takes so long to do a blanket. I don't even... I'm going to get it done. I am. I'm still going to work on it. It might take me until December or something to finish this blanket. December. But I hope she have it by, she, she'll have it by the winter time. Because she really don't need it now. It's hot. So, um, so that's what I did with the blanket. And the last things I want to show you is I did some earrings. Oh, yeah, these earrings that I'm wearing, thank you so much, OBW. Thank you for introducing me to tatting. So I follow your tutorial, and I did these earrings last night. And uh, I love them. They're so cute. They're just the right size for when you don't want to be too extravagant. And um, I love them. So thank you for your tutorial for the uh, tatting. And thank you so much for introducing me to that wonderful talent. Because I love to do different stuff. Like I love to learn new things and do different things. So thank you so much. And um, I, I did these earrings um, as well. So... Here's one of them. And um, I saw, for a while now, I saw this one lady. I, don't, I, can't, I can't remember her name, but she's not, I don't know if she's a YouTube member or not. But I've seen her work on, um, is it Rob? No, Etsy. And she was selling her earrings. And I saw this pattern. And I was like, I got to find that pattern. She wasn't selling the pattern. She was just selling the earrings. So I searched around, I searched around. And I came across uh, the pattern for, it, they, I guess they was doing like a granny square or something. For the same swirl pattern. And I was like, yes! found the pattern so I did these earrings that's one I did them in pink and white and I did them in by Molly colors like the Jamaican colors or by Molly or whatever red yellow black and green I love this pattern and I'm so happy I found a way to do it because I kept looking at her earrings and I'm like how does she do that like because you're switching up the colors and the swirly thing going around 
they were just so cute. I was like, I gotta find a pattern. I gotta find a pattern. And I found a pattern, or I found a tutorial on YouTube, and I'm gonna post it down below. And the tutorial was in a, in a, a different, another language. So, but I just looked at the tutorial and just looked at, you know, sorry, the light can keep going in and out. And I just looked at how she did it, and voila! I did these earrings. They're so cute. I love them. I can't wait to rock them. And I'm going to do more colors. I'm going to do purple. And I got a whole bunch of this uh, crochet thread. And I'm going to be doing some more of these bad boys. So, that's all that I have for you guys. This this uh, fresh off the hook. Um, thank you so much to all my subscribers. I am up to 300 and I think like 300 and close to 330. Yay! So thank you so much for subscribing to my page, you guys. And I will see you guys next time. And please check out all the other Fresh Off the Hook members. They'll be listed down below. Please check out our family. Everyone is talented. And I love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.